must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Uh, so we finished up our one hour special episode yesterday uh, in this ruin of... I shouldn't even say ru I guess it is kind of like a ruin, but man, it's also like a graveyard or like a battlefield. Like there's just all these dead guardians everywhere. There's all these swords just sticking in the ground. Look at all these swords. Crazy. Um, there's also a chest right here, I see. Let's see what the chest is. Just random. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. Hold up. Actually, uh, let me throw this Boko Club out of here. I don't need that. Speaking of chests, let's, uh, let's use a couple more Amiibo here and see what we can get before we uh, jump into this adventure for today. Let's use Princess Zelda and see what we get here. Hopefully we can get a couple uh, decent weapons. Ah, Topaz, that works too, you know, for getting more money and whatnot. Here's uh, a Link Amiibo. Movement speed, all right, all right. Some arrows, very nice, and... Oh, the Tunic of Twilight. Very nice. If I keep summoning Link Amiibos, I can actually get the whole set of Twilight or uh, Ocarina of Time. Here's the Ocarina of Time, Link. I have a lot of Amiibos. Oh, there we go. I had to move my coffee because I, I just bumped it and it spilled a little bit. Hey, the Cap of Time. So we got the Cap of Time and the Tunic of Twilight. That's pretty cool. All right, here's a uh, Kid Link. I'm not sure what you get for using Kid Link. Bunch of fish. And... Ooh. There we go. Finally got a decent weapon. And uh, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this uh, woodcutter's axe. It's only three damage. Pretty useless. And we'll take that. And let's see, do I got any more amiibos? I got a couple more. Let's do Sheik. Ooh, look at all the mushrooms. I think it's interesting how, uh, depending which amiibo you use, you get different kinds of food. Sheik, Sheik apparently likes mushrooms. Ooh, that's not a bad shield, but it's not like amazing either. Let me see. I guess it's better than the one I'm currently equipped. A nice thing about the the uh, mine's eye shields as well is that they are made of wood, so they won't get you electrocuted in a thunderstorm. Alright, uh, let's do Toon Link. Toon Link, of course, he would have fish. Oh, the hearty salmon is really, really good, actually. What's Toon Link going to give me in the chest? Five ace arrows, alright. And then, guys, last but not least, your favorite... Wolf Link, aka Zumbor, aka Mordex. <laughs> you guys are giving him lots of different names. I just call him Wolf Link because that's his name. It literally says it right in the right in the corner down there. Hey, look at that! We found some wild horses over there. All right, Epona. Onwards. Our quest. Look at all this garbage I'm leaving behind. Our quest to save the princess continues. This time we're going to Hateto Village, which... Sorry about that, Birdie. Hateto Village is this way, and also... We're going to be looking for that tower up there. We're going to try to scale that tower in this episode, see if we can get that uh, checkpoint, or not checkpoint, but, you know, a place you can warp to. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, we're going to go... Look at all these dead guardians. I bet you there's some that are alive. 
Honestly, I should actually be uh, gathering some of these because I know I'm gonna need ancient screws and, and stuff like that for upgrading my uh, Sheikah tablet. Hey. Incredible! It's Garel! Hiya! My name's Garel. Come to see Fort Hateno, I take it. Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hateno here was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in their life, right? Wow, so this is the last line of defense uh, to Hateno Village. It looks like it didn't really hold up that well. But hey, they tried. It looks like they actually were able to stop dozens of guardians from getting across the wall, which is actually pretty impressive. Hey, Wolf Link. Need you over here, bud. You gonna do something over here, Wolfie? Or are you just gonna bark and not really do much? Wolfie, right here, boy. There you go. Another one. Come on, boy. Over here, boy. Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. There you go. He's a little nervous. He just got summoned, you know. Every time I summon him, he usually dies, so, you know, I can't blame him for being nervous. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and walk... Ooh. I hear a Korok. Where is it? Is it up here? Uh... I'm pretty sure that thing means there's a Korok. Whoa, do you see those? What? What are those things flying around in the forest? Oh wait, maybe those are the things I have to shoot? Oh my gosh, that's actually gonna be really hard. How am I supposed to shoot those? I guess it's repeating, right? If it's repeating, I should be able to hit it eventually. There's one. That was terrible. It's hard to judge the distance. I got 75 bullets, so I guess we have time. Oh! I am good. That was actually kind of hard. Alright. Yeah, I, I knew I, I heard that, Korok. Um, we're not going to do a cooking with Lucian, but since we're here, I'm just going to do... A baby one. I'm gonna do just like just a couple cooking. I like these little like three health uh, cold resistance, heat resistance, movement speed. Sure. These little three heart, you know, healing items. All right, that's a five harder, but some high rule herbs in there. All right. Actually, do you know what I really want to make are the stamina boosting things and the uh, the hardy. So let's make the hardy. Let's make that one. This one will give me full health and bonus hearts. Yeah, four bonus hearts. That's very, 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 very good. Uh, for this, we're going to make the stamina boosting ones. Two stamina shrooms only do like two fifths of a wheel. Let's just do three of those. That'll do almost all of it. Alright, that's good enough. Oh, come on, Wolf. Stop harassing all the deer. You don't have to be a bully everywhere you go. There's probably a lot of secrets in this uh, area. I'm not exactly in a rush anyways, so let's just explore a little bit, shall we? Everybody loves exploring, right? Use my double axe. Wow, the double axe actually took out that tree in one swipe. Apota, you don't need to chill, alright? I'm not doing anything illegal. That might be a traveling salesman up there. Oh wow, look at these rock formations. It's actually really cool. It looks like there's a camp over there, but uh, before we go over to the camp, let's check out this house. There's actually a house over here. Get him, Link! Get him, Wolfie! Get him! 
Come on, Wolf. Wolfie. Thank you. He's very slow on the attack, but when he does attack, it does pretty good damage. Alright, let's chop this one. One hit! Oh my goodness. One hit with the double axe. We'll chop a tree. This, uh, this must have been built after the attack. Somebody's house is just right here in the ruins of Fort Hateno. That's actually really cool. An ancient text. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gates to purge the seal from the shrine. Okay. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody is mowing my lawn. So if you hear a lawnmower, that's what it is. Alright, um... Nothing else around this house. Uh, there's some bees right there, but... Should I go for the bees? I don't know, guys. It's probably not worth it. I'm just gonna leave them, man. They're just doing their thing. I don't wanna mess up their home. Go back, fish. Oh, a mighty carp. Uh-oh. This river is pretty mighty. Come on. Get Let's get up. Whew, almost ran out of stamina. Can Wolf Link uh, swim across the, the river? Come on, Wolfie. Come on, boy. Get him. We got plenty of arrows. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> they may have found my hiding spot. Wolf Link, I need you over here. Oh, boy. Wolf Link. Come on, bud. You're drowning. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe if I re-summon Wolf Link, like, over here. Did they literally just blow up their own, uh... They blew themselves up, guys. These aren't the, spite, the, the smartest book goblins, okay? Definitely not the smartest. There you go, Wolfie. You got across somehow. Wow, this camp was actually pretty easy. Pretty easy. That time we didn't even have to use all these explosion barrels, which is pretty nice because it probably would have sent all this loot flying all over the place, you know what I mean? Alright. Go ahead and break all these barrels. We'll pick up our chest, see what we got on our way to the Hateno Tower. Oh, nice. Five arrows right there, see? We're getting our arrows back. That What's that arrow right there? There we go. Move it, Wolfie. I don't want to hit you again. I learned the hard way that I can do damage to Wolf Lake. Let's see what we got in the chest. Opal. All right. All right. Pretty much nothing else here. One thing we can do, guys, actually, if we really wanted to, here's a here's a tip for you guys. If you're near a fire, but you're not really near a uh, a cooking pot, you can still cook meat and whatnot. Just set it right on the fire. It'll just start on fire, but you know it'll turn into cooked meat and cooked apples in a, in a second here. There we go. Baked apples, seared steak. Boom. Perfect, guys. Cooked to perfection. Alright. I'm actually going to uh, head on back through this awesome cave system. I kind of wonder what's up top there. We'll have to come back and explore the top area of this part. Always got to check in the river as well, see if there's any chests or anything in the river. Alright, 
I don't see anything. This is just a, a very calm, chill place. Oh, guys, look at that view. Could you guys see it? We found Hateno Village. There's even a tower way up on that mountain up there. We got a shrine right there. Might as well mark the shrine with the yellow the yellow dot there. And uh, but more importantly, guys, look at this tower. Oh, Wolf Link, he smells somebody. What do you smell, boy? Oh, a fox? No, don't do it. Dang it. Well, we won't let him go to waste. We're gonna take the raw beef. Wolf Link really does not like foxes, man. I don't know what it is about foxes. They challenge his his, his authority. All right, he's killing a slime. Oh. Look at this. Maybe we could actually sneak attack these before Wolf Link disturbs them this time. Oh, that was pretty good. Alright, we killed the big one. He was the main threat. I'm gonna use this Traveler's Claymore. Might send him off a cliff, yep. Alright. The only bad thing about that is I'm not gonna loot him now. Oh, big boy. We got big boy up here. Oh, uh, he doesn't even have that much health. Get him, Link. Or Wolf Link, rather. He kind of kicked me and almost, like, killed me. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use some baked apples. Maybe a uh, seared steak as well. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, Wolf. No, Wolf. Link. Come on, Wolfie. You can do it. Oh, no. The, the, the rain is making him slip. Oh, my gosh. Can he do it? All right. Well, we'll, 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 uh, we'll hope that you do it, man. Good luck with that. If I run away, I think he'll teleport back up. And Wolf Link, are you coming, bud? Come on, Wolfie, I know you can do it. Oh, look at this, guys. There's a couple more over here. Yep, he teleported closer. Let's attack. Get him, Wolfie. You take the left, I'll take the front. Right in the butt. Actually, kind of more in the leg. All right, it broke right when it killed him. Moblin guts. Those are called moblins. All right, good to know. Um, let's keep uh, heading up towards this tower, guys. I got a feeling we're gonna have to fight our way up, which is totally fine by me. Another guy over there. Oh, nice, Wolf Link started the flurry rush. That was awesome. This is the longest that Wolf Link has actually survived. You guys notice that? Don't hurt my dog! Oh my, he almost killed Wolf Link, guys, no! I can't let him die. No! Woo! That was close. That was very close. Wolf Link, you gotta be more careful, man. If I give Wolf Link some meat, will he regenerate health? Let's try. Yeah, I'm gonna set it down here. I'm gonna drink my coffee while he eats. It does work! It heals him, guys. That's amazing. All right, let's give him some apples. Here you go, bud. I know the other dog like the apples. Maybe you will too. Oh, you gotta be hurry. You got you gotta be fast, bro. Uh oh. There they go. Uh oh. He's gonna be going a long ways for those. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep going up the the, the hill, man. Ooh.
flint can be useful. You mess with the wrong dog. Oh, headshot. Nice, a hearty radish. Whoa, he's on a horse. Man, that Boko Club does like such little damage. Alright. Wait, another one on a horse? Oh! Headshot. Any more? A couple more slimes? Dude, we're just so much battling. Alright. Wow. We're getting so many items. Alright, let's go, Wolfie. We're doing great. Wait, there's another one? We're going a little bit out of our way, but I mean for Hateto Village, but we definitely want to uh, get this, get this, uh, tower. Not only for warping, but also just because it uncovers a huge part of the map. Wolfling, no, 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 no. I want to sneak attack him. Do not engage. Do not. Are you kidding me? Well, Flink's probably gonna die now. He picked up the the gob the boat goblin and threw him. Oh wow, I sneak struck him. Oh wow, that was actually accidental, but dang, that was amazing. I can't believe the moblin picked up the boat goblin and chucked him at Wolflink. That was so rude. Oh look at that. There's glowing ore. I'm gonna mark that so we get it later. And then look at that epic base. I bet you there's a ton of enemies on it. They're just not spawned because it's too far away. Guys, we're getting really close to the tower. Ooh. The tower surrounded by thorns. All right, so just getting here is not good enough. Wolf Link, you're like kind of glitching a little bit. He's still fighting. Nice, he got the final blow. Man, Wolfling, this is the longest he has ever lived. I don't have any swords equipped. I guess I'm using the arm. Alright guys, we made it. Let's see how we get up here now. Party Radish? Nope. Ow! Holy cow, that thing did more damage to me and Wolf Link than all the moblins. Highly and rice. Alright guys, let's get it. Atendo Tower. Let's put on my climbing, uh... Climbing helmet here. Oh boy. For this, guys, I'm gonna have to be very careful on my stamina. I might actually have to use a uh, stamina wheel. Like a, a healing item. Excuse the loud noises in the background if you can hear. That's my lawnmower guy. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it. Didn't have to use the stamina. Link's a little tired, but that's all right. All 
All right, let's keep it going. There we go. And let's go all the way to the top. All the way, guys. So close. Actually, we're going to have to go across again. There we go. Um, let's see. How do I get up this last little bit? I'm going to sneak right on up. We made it, guys. Oh, this is good. Uh-oh. The rain is going to make it harder for me to get up. Let's go. Let's go, Lake Kabod. We're so close. Last little bit. Oh, yeah, we made it. We made it. Was this our fourth tower? Not bad. Not bad. I gotta say, it was actually easier to uh, get to than I thought. The moblins, the really big guys, they weren't actually that difficult. Maybe we're just uh, getting better at the game, you know? Getting a little bit more used to the combat. We got better weapons now. We're not a noob like we were on the Great Plateau. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. The, the hardest, the most difficult part of Master Mode is when you first start on the Great Plateau. Once you get some weapons and armor, it's not nearly as bad. All right. Regional map extracted. Thank you. Oh, yeah, boys. I actually uh, wish it wasn't raining. All right, so we can actually jump down to those guys. And there is a chest over there. I might do that, to be honest. I wish I could wait here until it's, like, not raining, though. You know what I mean? I'm actually going to warp back to... Where's what? Where's the stables? Let's warp to this stable over here, and then I'm going to warp back to the tower. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. Oh, man. I just don't like playing as much when it's raining, you know what I mean? And it seems like it's always raining when I'm playing. Uh, like, if I remember uh, Zumor's playthrough, it seemed like it hardly ever rained. It was nice and sunny out. Here we go. Alright, it's very, very good weather over here at the stables. Oh, look, we found Hestu! Oh, what a good play, guys. What a good play. I didn't even see him over here. Shalaka! So we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this is area central Hyrule. Shalako. That means Korok Forest is still much farther north. Well, since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. Oh, wait a minute. Sniff, sniff. I know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed. You've collected a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok Seeds, I'll expand one of your stashes. Which one will it be? Uh, honestly, let's do the shield stash again. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Um... Let's do the weapon stash again. Like, I know you can skip that little dance, but why would you ever skip it? It's so great. Ah, I could do another one? Alright, let's just do the bow then. He only needs one Korok seed for the bow stash. <laughs> when he turns around for a second, he's like shaking his booty. Um, I 
Honestly, I'm gonna do shield stash and then uh, the weapon stash. <laughs> I think this will be the last one I can afford. I don't actually know if I can afford another one. All right, so now he'll do as many as I want. Weapon stash, three. All right, cool, so that used up the last of my Korok seeds. Wow. Boy, I'm happy I warped over here. All right, that's all I got, dude. I think I remember how to get back to Korok Forest. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa's waiting for me. Thanks for the seeds. I'm off to the Korok Forest. Come visit me sometime. Oh, man. Alright. Wow. So we got a lot more uh, room for our weapons. We got three more slots there. We got another bow slot. And we got two more shield slots. So we're, we are just doing fantastic in this episode. We're almost at, at time, though, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and sell to Beetle. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Give me the oh, he wants the bladed rhino beetle, beetle for uh, mighty elixir. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> he loves beetles. I wonder why. Sa 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 sa. Look what I've got. Oh. Let's see, bud. I got some beautiful, pristine S plus tier monster parts that you will are gonna love. One thing I wish you could do, though, is select multiple items and sell them all at once. Alright, let's sell, uh... Let's sell, like, half of these. Let's do 30. Good enough. <laughs> Man, I barely even did lo uh, much, and we're, we're still gonna make a ton of money here. Let's sell, like, 20 of these. And, uh... Eh, I guess that's fine for now. I don't need a ton of money. I guess we could sell some opals. Let me sell like five of these. Wow, 300 rubies right there. All right. The topaz is 180. I think that's pretty good, guys. Actually, let's see if he's got some arrows. No, he's still sold out. All right. Nothing from, from me there, bud. You don't got arrows, you're not getting my money. All right. Now, now I'm good to warp back to uh, Hateno Tower. And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was definitely a pleasure. I feel like we did good progress, even though, you know, half-hour episodes do feel kind of short when you're having fun. But at the same time, it's just enough to uh, have a little adventure every day. You know what I mean? It's still raining. And that's what I like to do. I like to record and upload every single day so you guys can have a little bit of Zelda in your life every single day. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a tower way up there. Oh, wow. We'll go check that out at another time. But for now, guys, the next episode, we will start off heading straight towards Hateno Village, which you guys can see in the background there nestled on the base of that mountain right there. And uh, we're, we'll check out what, what's going on down here as well. Alright guys, this is Lucian Sword. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.